Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to use LDRs and thermistor in simple DC circuit designs. So these are learning outcomes. Some prior knowledge is needed. In previous lesson, we explored the idea of using rheostat uh, together with potential divider rule to control the value of an output voltage. This in turn can be applied to control the output of the electrical device such as the brightness of a lamp, the temperature of a heater, and the speed of a motor. So by increasing or decreasing the output voltage, we can make the lamp brighter or heater to be hotter or colder or speed of the motor to be faster or slower. However, we need to manually change the resistance of the rheostat to do that. So could we automate it? Actually, it's quite simple. We just only need to replace the manual real step with some variable resistors that somehow can change resistance with or when the surrounding environment changes. The surrounding environment can be dark or bright, or it could be the environment become colder or hotter. So using this environments we there are two types of variable resistance that we'll be introducing one is ldr or light dependent resistors the other one is thermistors let's talk about ldr first ldr is simply resistors that just change resistance whenever the surrounding light condition changes so this is a symbol for it so generally the resistance of ldr goes up when the surrounding environment becomes dimmer. So if it becomes dimmer, the R becomes larger. Likewise, if the surrounding gets brighter, the resistance of the LDR will get smaller. Or it get even brighter, it will become even smaller. So that's the general trend. So how do we make use of this? For example, a simple need is to make a light bulb become brighter automatically when it gets too dark in the room. It's simple. So what you need to do is this is a general circuit uh, design and you tap an output voltage and your light bulb will be connected over at this output. So your light bulb will be somewhere over here. So we have a certain output voltage. When the zoom gets dark Remember the resistance gets larger and based on what we learn about potential divider rule, the voltage also gets larger and that will automatically make the light bulb go brighter. Okay, so if it gets too bright in the day, the light bulb will also turn dim or doesn't light up. So the opposite will happen. So this, when it gets too bright, R becomes smaller and the light bulb will uh, shut down because the voltage is too small. But what if we want the light bulb to light up when it's too bright? You may think that, huh? This is just quite silly. But uh, there are also, of course possible cases that you can do that. For example, we could be want a uh, lab to be dark so that some fungus can grow for an experiment. And we need a circuit to increase the output voltage to activate a warning alarm, a lamp, or a siren to sound or warning sound to warn us when the lab becomes too bright. So this will be the circuit design. So your LDR instead of placing at the output voltage over here, is placed on top of it. And how does it work? When it's, of course, when normally it's a dark room, so your resistance is very big. So in this case, the VO over here will be small. Okay. So when it becomes too bright, what will happen is that this resistance becomes too small and correspondingly what will happen is that the VO over the uh, fixed resistor will get uh, very big and this will activate the uh, light or warning light or the sound. Next we move on to thermistor. Thermistor are of course resistors that actually react to temperature changes. So this is a symbol for thermistor. There's actually two types of thermistor. PTC or positive temperature coefficient and NTC negative temperature coefficient. 
I think you can guess that for PGC, when temperature increases, the resistance increases. So you have a positive uh, relationship. For NTC, is that when temperature increases, resistance actually decreases. So there's a negative relationship. Having two types of semester actually makes circuit design easier because the same circuit design actually can be used for different situations. So this is circuit design and again this is the voltage output and whatever electrical device you just connect it over here. Okay, be a light bulb, heater, motor, speaker and so on and so forth. So for example, when the, gets, when the room gets too hot and you want to increase the chiller power, you find that you have to use a PTC, a positive temperature coefficient thermistor, because when the rooms get hot, the resistance of this increases and the voltage increases. So what will happen is that the chiller connected will also get a high, higher voltage or higher current. Okay, so you, so the chiller will become more uh, cooler. But the same circuit design can be used for if the room gets too cold and you want to increase the heater's power. So in this case, you have to use NTC because when the rooms get too cold, in this case for NTC, when the temperatures drop, the resistance also increases. Okay, so you get the same effect. And in this case, of course, the heater will also get uh, higher power, makes the room goes warmer. Okay, so that's more or less about uh, LDR and thermistor and how do you make use of them, them to automate your circuits. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.